saw You're so pretty and I'm such a skin Wonder what you saw in me To make you flip your pretty lips Uh, I guess my first show was maybe in like 1993 or something. It was in Hamilton in this really crappy bar called D's that doesn't exist anymore. And I think I only did it. I played like two songs and I crank called my brother. And I was like him being like, who's this? What's going on? And I just played a tape, like I said, of that. It was like really bad. But I think I got 30 bucks, so I felt good. So that was officially the start of B.A. Johnson, the stage performer. I guess that was the start of, of <laughs> yeah, learning to rely on my lack of skill. With, with trickery. I guess it would just be like years of living alone with your mother, which is kind of like living alone, but worse. And then the energy that would create bouncing around the basement walls combined with personal failure, it would create my power. It's the same joke. It's been the same jokes for like years. I feel so bad for people that have... I actually notice that people that come to my show usually only come like three times because the show doesn't really evolve anymore. It's mostly just, it stagnates more now. It's, it's, yeah, I'm getting old. So, I feel like Trooper sometimes. It's like, <laughs> raise a little hell and then, you know, encore, there we go, and then right over there. I don't even say I'm a musician anymore. I say I'm an entertainer. I entertain the people is what I do with music. Well, it's like 110% every time. Like I don't have a lot to do, and usually when you're playing shows, you're just sitting in, in a car or a bus or something, and you're just waiting. So it's like when you play, you kind of have to like give it, you know. You got to keep it real. You got to, you know, because people playing five bucks, so it's like you got to deliver five bucks worth of entertainment, five to eight dollars worth every time. That album was, I didn't even really want to do it. I was feeling really lazy, and I guess I told i told my label, Just Friends, I was like, if you want it, then I will come there and I'll sing all the songs, but then you have to do all the work, and I'm going to go back to Ontario. So I flew in, and for like three days, I just really quickly, I'm kind of like Krusty the Clown when he comes in and he does the talking doll thing. He's like, hey, I'm talking Krusty. That's my album. It's like, ding, 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 and it's like, that was fun. They're like, no, do it again. I'm like, no, it's good, one take, and then I kind of just got out of there. And the album shows, it reflects the, the time put in, I think. But there's no refund, so no one really knows what it sounds like until they buy it. So it's good for me, I suppose. Ten dollars. I have kind of sort of recorded a few songs, actually, uh, like a month ago in Hamilton, and I think it should come out maybe in the winter. But I was thinking about maybe doing like a vinyl-only release or something, maybe try and make it a little different. And it seems so far it's going to be more sad, depressing BA songs mixed with oddly sexual. I had this new anthem called Geezer Pleaser that I'm trying to put out about girls that like old men. And I'm hoping that'll be a big crossover hit there, maybe with R&B markets or something. This is a song about the upcoming zombie apocalypse. It's coming. Zombies in Sackville, these be make the walk to George's more scary. When the world's got a taste for brains, cause the dead are rising due to acid rain. And you're living in a mic smart somewhere underneath the Slurpee machine. Eating nothing but Slim Jims and pepperettes. So your breath is so horrendous. Running from the evil dead is playing havoc with your beauty sleep. You're gonna miss me when the zombies come. You're gonna miss me when you are, in fact, the menu. You're gonna miss me when the zombies come. Hiding from the evil dead alone equals not much fun. I know a place we can hide, whoa, whoa. I know a place we can hide down at the dirt mall. We'll hide in Dollarama. Eat Turkish chocolate bars all the time. And I can outrun the undead, oh. I can outrun the undead except for vampires and ghosts. And ghosts, well. 
they don't run fair because they ain't got no legs you're gonna miss me when the zombies come you're gonna miss me when you are in fact the menu you're gonna miss me when the zombies come hiding from the evil dead alone equals not much fun Oh, come on, iPod. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. That's a fucking bass. I know it's like fucking 530, but let's party like it's 830 here. Well, I don't want to deep fry this shit no more. Cause sooner or later I'll deep fry my hand When I'm tired and hungover and do not know where I am Next thing you know, Mel's lunch special deep fried B.A. Johnson's hand So with, I don't know, tiny hamburgers for like two ninety five. dollars Fuck that, sack villains! So long, John Silver, I got something pull boo To read and then later on Peru's and then sign me up, sign me up to your crew. And I don't mean the crew at your lame American fast food fish and chip chain. They got deep fried chicken there, chicken planks, fucking lame. And I don't care if I get the scurvy and all my teeth fall and I have to gum jello. And I don't care if I get my leg chopped off. I'll just train my parrot to fetch me delicious beers from the fridge. And ditch one a scooter, scooter beer for everyone on Sappy Fest tonight. Paul said it was fine. And I have excellent customer service skills. Not sure how that helps on a pirate ship. But I can work the cash register. Handy for counting doubloons at the stolen boot. I wish every job paid me in fucking stolen boots. Hey! So read my pirate's resume. Sappy Fest Circle Pit. That's all the circle pit I can do anyway. No one ever circle pits with me. It's just for humor, I guess. But that joke is old. What? Climbing up the stairs, trying to escape my fate, escape my fate By staying up super late, watching infomercials, deluxe meat cookers Just set it and forget it, in 20 minutes, your meat's getting cooked, I know upstairs some Well, a lot of people, I put out a, a really brief run of a live record um, that was recorded on a radio show And a lot of people kind of bugged me for something that kind of because the live show and the CDs are so different that they kind of wanted something that's more, I guess, like CD or more live, like what's kind of going on. So uh, we did two shows over my birthday party weekend in Halifax, and the nights were really busy, and and I played oddly well, which was good for me, like because I thought I'd really, really crap the bed, but it was fun, and there's a lot of people, and people are kind of going really crazy. There's crowd surfing and stuff, which I don't see as, as much as I'd like, so it was a really good show. I sing to a pizza man in it. We hide, well, you got pizza and he comes but I think he thinks it's like some kind of homosexual porn because I'm lying in a bed and we have a boom mic and we, we paid him an extra five dollars to come in the room and then I was singing that I loved him and then he looked really concerned and then he pretended to answer his phone and he ran so that's on there and I they rented a limo so I could go to the show in a limo which was kind of cool because I didn't have to carry my stuff so it was good I find the internet pretty odd but I mean it's pretty cool just the different the different stuff has been taped like one there's a lot of stuff from a house show in Edmonton where I played for all these like frat boy engineer students hired me that they paid me like $40 to play in their garage or whatever and there's a lot of stuff from that so it's like a lot of really random shows there's one where I think I'm in a snowbank in Hamilton doing an encore and one in a bathroom in Guelph so it's like kind of cool to document I guess moments that wouldn't really last but like I think there's only like no one's really watched any of them so it's, I think it's just me <laughs> trying to get my views up by watching them over and over again Baby, baby, we've been in bed so long And your breath, it is strong Time
usually, I mean, it's pretty decent. Like, I just played a, a, a 14 year old kid's birthday party in, in Huntsville, Ontario, like, like two weeks ago, and one kid hated me. Usually, yeah, it's like maybe 40% like me, but then the ones that hate me usually just kind of sit in the back. So it works out all right. I mean, I, I figure I should get killed more than I have, and I haven't, so that's maybe a positive. I'm sure I still will. I did a Greyhound tour in the fall, which was. I mean, I'm getting old, and there's only so much ibuprofen I can eat, and it's it, it was really kind of painful. I just got my driver's license, so I can drive on this tour, which I'm thinking will be less bus station-y, which would be good, because I had a bit of a, I had some mishaps. They have the tour scheduled to end in December, so I mean, then it's Christmas, so I get presents. So it kind of, you know, you're tired, but no one's really working at Christmas time either, so you don't really feel so guilty when you're just, like, lurking around. And I, mean, I should be all right. I mean, I've done it before. I think I, can, I think I got a couple more I can do before they'll kill me, hopefully. This song's with the first thing I bought with my $60 million check. I built a deep fryer and I put it in my bedroom. A song called I Have a Deep Fryer in My Bedroom. It's a little wall sing tune. Deep fryer in my bedroom. Got a deep fryer in my bedroom. And the French fries are dancing in my dreams and the deep fried shrimp is my reality i'll roll over in the middle of the night i toss some shrimp in and go back to sleep then later on when i wake up on delicious deep Fried shrimp, I shall sup. Got a deep fryer in my bedroom. Sappy fest, deep fryer in my bedroom. And baby, sometimes late in the night, I roll over and I stroke you to see if you are all right. And I love you, my lady, my deep frying machine. Is it wrong to marry a deep frying machine? Hell no, Sackville. Got a deep fryer in my bedroom. Deep fryer in my bedroom. And the bubble in grease shall sing me to sleep. Bubble, bubble, grease, sing sweetly, sing me to Thanks. Really, it's only a matter of time before I spill this beer. This next song is about the Humpty Dumpty potato chip logo and how we go out nightclubbing. It's a song called the Humpty Dumpty potato chip logo. No, B.A. Yes. Young MC's got nothing on me. I'm gonna bust a move like it's 1993. Humpty Dumpty potato chip logo supreme. Potato chip logo getting fresh with all the ladies. The ladies, the ladies, the ladies. If I was too or less Humpty Dumpty, the ladies would all touch my Rumpty Rumpty. Go to George's Roadhouse, I'm not drinking schooner Humpty and BA. Ah, sipping bubbly, bubbly! George's finest champagne, somehow, ironically, I think that it is schooner.
Chumba Butter Popcorn, cause that's just how we do things. Don't let him touch your skin. It's from Dollarama. <laughs>